Breakfast of Kings. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm okay. Prepared for this, I think. Yeah. Day seven. Day seven. So today we're going from Kinloch Leven to Fort William. It's the end. Hey, 15 miles to go. And we get into Fort William, hopefully around what, four ish? Let's not put a time on it. Okay. Whenever we get there. Yeah. We're starting off at eight. It's an hour later than I would have wanted, but we went to bed quite late, didn't we? We went to bed about ten ish. Ridiculous, it's so early. Ten on a Friday night. And the thought of setting the alarm for five just made me go, no. So we set it for six instead. So it's about 20 past seven now, 25 past seven, and um, we're going to finish up our breakfast and go. Facilities at Blackwater Hostel are really good. Yeah. Really good, really good COVID measures in place as well. Full on kitchen, everything. Got like your own little box to put your food in. We've got a fridge there, so really good. I'd be happy to not be doing, you know, between 10 and 15 or 19 miles one day, every day but the views have just been stunning. Yeah. And this, I think this has definitely started a new love affair between us and Scotland. Mm. Beautiful. Well, thank you, Ken Lantleven. It's been short but sweet. Nice little place though. Yeah, really nice. The guidebook hates it, it's like, don't come here, it's awful. He's, he's hilarious, isn't that? It says un uh, uh, unpleasant walk because it's slightly beside an A road <laughs> and there's pylons. Uh, but yeah, lovely little highland village. It looks like most of the electricity comes from hydro power as well, which is always quite modern. Anyway, on our way. I've put shorts on on, a, on quite a cold day, it would seem. I've, I've got my clothing completely wrong this week. Uh, the sun's not up yet though, I think it'll warm up today. And uh, yeah, there's not a cloud in the sky, there's a little bit of a breeze, but onwards we go to Fort William. Hey! Um, that way. This climb this morning is um, a little bit of a, I wouldn't say a shock to the system, but it wakes you up and then like hits you over the head and beats you around a bit. <laughs> it's a bit brutal. <laughs> I, don't, I can't even tell you if we're halfway up. I haven't got a clue. I don't know where about we're going. I haven't got a clue, but we're, we're, we have to keep taking breaks because we're just, our bodies are like, I think our bodies know that it's the final day. So it's just a little bit hard, but we're all right. So we're getting there with a lot of breaks. There's every chance that that's the end of the climb. Don't, I'm, don't say that. I'm not getting my hopes up. You are by saying it. I'm getting my hopes up. But every time you think it's the end of an incline on the West Island Way, there's another one. Just expect hills wherever <laughs> you go. Just expect there to be a big half <laughs> massive hill and you'll be fine. If you go somewhere, it's uphill. If you're coming back, it's uphill. It's uphill. There's hills. The hills are alive with the sounds of my screams. <laughs> So yesterday, um, as I mentioned, I popped my blister whilst we were going down Devil's Staircase and I didn't have anything to put on it, like I didn't have like just a normal plaster to cover it up. So what I used was to just use a blister plaster on the sole of my feet. So where your toes are there, the blister was here on like my little toe. So we just use a blister plaster like that. So it's just basically being flopping about on the bottom of my foot. 
Um, so the skin's broken. I just wanted to keep it like sterile. Really, it's given me jiffy again today. Um, and on my right foot, my toenail just dug into the skin of my next toe again. That's happened on both foots now, it's weird. My toenails are really short as well, I just got weird feet. Um, but this left foot is really hurting me. So I need to stop and sort it out really. Don't know what I'm going to do. But yeah, it's just an update on my blisters for those who care. We've just stopped on a little bridge and had our butties, what we've got from the co-op. It is only like quarter time, but we were starving. <laughs> Worked up an appetite. So we're gonna continue now. How are you feeling? There are a number of words that we've used over this past week that we've hardly used in the 16 years we've been together relentless has been one of them and unrelenting terrain that's one uh, monotonous <laughs> we're so close Blister. <laughs> blister. Never said the word blister so much in all my life. Zinc oxide. Zinc oxide tape. And compede. Stunning. On the pos stunning a lot. It says stunning a lot, but I mean, stunning and breathtaking has been one. I mean, just seriously, just sat off. The highlands are gorgeous, but get me to a bath with a nice cold beer soon. This path is horrible. Stop. Thing is. You spend most of your time looking down, so you don't put your foot the wrong way. But then you get shocked every time you look up and see the views. And to see how beautiful they are, they are before you are. There is no, but I mean, there is no taking away from it. Do you want to know an injury list? Just tell us what's right, that might be quicker. My shoulders and my back and my hands are fine. <laughs> my hips are fine. It's just hips downwards. I mean, I've, my knee's been tingling, but I've soaked it in ibuprofen spray and gel, so yeah. that's cracking. My hamstring's kicking off now. It has been niggling for a few days. I just don't need it. I need to stop out and put some spray on this. I need to get some more food more down me. Okay. What we got there? Food more. Hello, so we've just passed point 112 where it gives you the option to do a shortcut to the end along a tarmacked beautiful road and we chose not to do that because we're idiots so we chose to do it the other way which takes about four and a half hours 
we've just stopped at the top of a hill found ourselves a lovely lunch spot where we've eaten the rest of our food and we had a little nap and it was freaking amazing and we now feel so much better we're going to carry on so life is good the weather is beautiful i woke up and i felt like i was on a beach in spain and then realized i had my hiking boots on <laughs> So after we stopped for lunch, Adam's knee really started to hurt him. So we had to get his poles out. Um, oh, oh yeah, we've God. given him ibuprofen gel, um, no ibuprofen spray, and he's taken a couple of cocosamol, um, but his knee is really sore, so we're having to go at a quite a slow pace. Um, downhill's really hurting him, uphill's fine, and there's a mixture of both. <laughs> um, so we've just had to throttle back a bit. But he's there. He's powering through. It's all good. Uh, so we're just out of a um, a deforested area. Actually, seems to be uh, doing a lot of work there. At the moment, we're on the forest track. My knee is still just it's just rubbish going downhill uphill absolutely fine pretty much both got our poles out emma's hamstrings really starting to kick off now uh, and it's quarter past three we're about three miles away three miles out so not long to go that's the good news bad news for me is that a lot of it's going to be downhill now but <laughs> there's parts there that i was actually going down backwards um but i'm not going to be doing that going into fort william so yeah final push now hello so we came down what was um the descent for probably about an hour and a half i think um sorry we haven't vlogged so much just we needed a pause yeah so we came down the descent for about an hour and a half and now we're in like a little forest and it's soil path so that's really nice um so it looks like now we're going to join a road so this is good. Not too sure how long we've got left. My Fitbit's a bit weird. My Fitbit's saying we've done nearly 15 miles, um, but I still think we've got a while left yet, like two miles or so. We're walking up on the path. We hopefully are walking towards the end. It's just never ending it seems and it's quite difficult to walk on tarmac even though I've been praying for tarmac for so long. <laughs> um, yeah, we could get the map out to find out how long but to be honest, I can't bother stopping, I just want to keep going. So yeah, we're hopefully nearly there. Hopefully. This last bit's a killer. Christ, it's a killer. So we're on the last mile, the last mile, thank Christ, this last couple of bits are brutal, absolutely brutal but we're nearly there. So we made it to the original end of the West Highland Way but this is not where we're stopping, we're going to continue on to the proper end to end and get our photo. Oh how nice, sent out balloons. There's our car in that car park. <laughs> We're so nearly there now, just walking through the town. Nearly there. How do you feel? It means more to me than I thought it would. Ah. <laughs> Here we are at the end. The end. So glorious. The end. Oh, we're here. We made it. Did we make it? Oh my god, we made it. I didn't realise so many people are coming out to We made it. Well done. I can't believe we've done that. We've done it. We've done it. 
we are just so overwhelmed and do you know what the best part is our hotel is right behind us literally right there right behind us so we're going to go and check in and die in the bath we'll probably give you an update later on tonight when we're a little bit more alive but we've just sat with your man and we just got a picture no. and it was just guys so it's the next day and we have recovered kind of from the west island way last night we just absolutely crashed we went to spoons and we just had a pizza and a loads of wine and some nice craft ale and we just had a really good night um yeah we, overall the experience has just been amazing yeah. uh, for us adam's in quite a lot of pain from his knee this morning um but i'm all right my blisters are gone like an almost walk again so all is good we had a fantastic time it was an experience that we'll never forget no. um probably we'll never do it again <laughs> <laughs> to be honest but we did have yeah. a ball and it was just um the overall experience was just amazing yeah completely um just absolutely adored it yeah probably won't repeat it but so so glad we've done it yeah and if you've followed our journey thank you so much for watching them all and um, thanks to all the people we we met yeah. along the way because you were all amazing and we had such a laugh just sorry we didn't get to see you to say goodbye um but hopefully you'll see this so take care guys thanks for watching and um stay tuned for our next trip and any of the moaning all the way through it's it's worth it <laughs> wouldn't you say yeah yeah Bye guys. See you.